Well, you guys can see that we got a brand new update, but besides this right over here, guys, with a bunch of cars that we just got, looks like we got a bunch of Porsche and a new Hellcat and another Jeep Trackhawk and another, uh, I'm not sure what that is. That kind of looks like a Subaru and a Hellcat combined, but there's also one more thing that we just got today, guys, and it's this bad news right over here. The vehicle removal notice. The following vehicles have been removed from Driving Empire. Well, I feel like I've seen this message so many times this year. As an apology, you will be compensated for 125 of the for percent of their value. Okay, same thing again, and you guys can see we got a 2020 Apex B7, Apex E10 V100, and then we got the other Apexes right over here we also got the land yacht land yacht and the other apexes right over here plus we got 28 million dollars for it if you guys are wondering what these cards are well i'm about to explain in just a second but before we do smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys have it and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more and why am i default character right now all right we are back to our normal character right over here guys this is the brand new 2019 eclipse 80 yara this is pretty cool this kind of looks like a uh, a 718 911 or not 911 718 Porsche right over here kind of looks pretty cool almost has this like uh like McLaren like Elva thing in the back going on the windshieldless car but this kind of looks like a Taycan and a 718 combined but let's go ahead and buy it I'm sure it's just a 718 because it's only 160,000 and ooh, what is this? This is the brand new Koenigsegg that we just bought. And we got the Veneno already right over here. What about the Trackhawk? Let me see if we can get the Trackhawk real quick. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This is probably cooler than the actual Challenger itself or the Charger. Don't don't hate me in the comments down below, but this is actually really, really cool. I like this, uh, this design right here. And you guys can see the back actually looks pretty cool too it it looks a lot better than the actual car honestly and if we explode it you guys can see that we have the interior as plain as it is you guys can see that the front doesn't open up for some reason i like this huge scoop in the front i don't know why that's there but that's pretty cool let's go ahead and get one though Ooh, look at this this is like the black widow edition let's go ahead and buy this 39k and here's the track hawk right over here i like this design i like this light design in the front that actually looks pretty cool right there let's go ahead and get this right here i'm just gonna buy all of them right now and then let's go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and put those rims in there Ooh, what is this what the heck is this is this the oh this is the hellcat version guys this is actually pretty cool, or the SRT version. Wow, this is nice. All right, let's go ahead and get this too, 72K. And then, of course, we already got this uh, 718 Taycan-looking car right over here, which is pretty nice. But guys, we're going to be talking about a car or cars that was just removed in the game, guys. I'm not sure if you know what those cars were taken out, but I'm going to tell you guys right now that the BMWs in the rolls royces have been removed from the game sadly and you guys can see that we also got this brand new car meet update that was just released but let's talk about the uh the new update that they just took out and for some reason the interior of this porsche looks absolutely plain i don't know why now a lot of you guys probably don't care about the bmws or the rolls royces disappearing but i do there was a land yacht that was in my collection that is now <laughs> forever gone that land yacht was really cool and it was the most expensive car in the world guys besides the lava tour new York. but let's go ahead and read what driving empire said guys they said dear driving empire community we have some sad news to share today we have received a notice from a certain car manufacturers alleging that some driving empire vehicles infringe intellectual property rights wow that is a lot of smart words basically what they're saying guys there is a car manufacturer they don't want to say it because they might even get in trouble for you know saying it but which is actually really crazy because even if they say the name of these car manufacturers they will still get in trouble for it so that's why they want to just keep the name off of it but basically guys uh they got hit with another copyright infringement which happened to the bugattis which happened to lamborghinis basically 
every single game now just got hit with Lamborghini. I think Driving Empire was first just because they were the ones, uh, they're practically kind of bigger than the other games, guys. Not saying that they're the best, but I'm saying they might be bigger than the other games in Roblox. But you guys know that Driving Empire was the very first one to literally get hit with all of these copyright infringements. Meaning that if they even use the same exact car model, they will get in trouble, which absolutely is a boo-boo. So that's why they've been changing a lot of the car models, guys. That's why they don't look like the actual Trackhawks or the actual Hellcats. That's why they are absolutely kind of off-brand looking, as you guys would say. But that's because it is a certain reason. It's because if they have the same similarity or the same model look-alike without any type of, you know, permission, they will get in trouble, guys. So that's why they don't want to uh, go ahead. They don't want to go ahead and just leave it in here and they can get banned and Driving Empire will be gone forever. That's something that they don't want to happen. You know what? Let me go ahead and pull out the brand new Trackhawk. I like the brand new... Uh, here we go. Is this the new one right here? Enough? Wait, there's not enough room? Hold up. There is enough room right here. Here we go. This is the brand new Hellcat. Look at this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is nice. I might do a video on this, guys. Oh, this sounds nice. Listen to that. Oh my gosh. That sounds like a true muscle car. And I love the fact that their, their, uh, their cluster ju looks just like the real car. This is nice. This is actually pretty cool. It's not the fastest car in the world, but it'll do for now. But guys, let's go ahead and keep reading what it says. It says, as a result, we have taken responsive action by removing all Apex formerly BKM in-game, and Royal, former Royal Lux in-game. Brand vehicles from the game. All players who own these cars will receive 1.5x cash refund. So you guys can see from that sentence, they don't even want to say in the car manufacturing brand, which is actually really, really crazy because like I said, they could get in trouble even if they say their name. I'm not sure entirely, but it seems like they're just going to try to uh, avoid everything entirely, guys, which is, you know, cool. And last but not least, they says, we are sorry for this. We are working very hard on solutions to ensure we never have another removal. We will be able to share news on these solutions over the next few weeks. So it seems like they hate doing this, guys. Like I said, it's not in uh, on purpose. It's not like they want to make you stop playing Driving Empire. You guys know Driving Empire is one of the biggest car games in Roblox and also one of the most realistic you guys notice that every single car in roblox is literally um tuned the way they should be they're not like crazy fast just like you know uh how these other games are they usually are stupid fast and they don't really have the right stats on them which makes it seem unrealistic i'm not saying driving empire doesn't do that but they are pretty accurate when it comes to performance in car games and even the looks guys you can see that i am driving a McLaren right over here and this is pretty much the same exact model as the actual car you guys can see it has a certain body kit to it and it's super super accurate we are lucky to even keep the McLarens in this game guys I'm not gonna lie to you I, I, I feel like that McLaren's probably gonna try to hit again but at the same time McLaren has already worked with uh roblox before so i really doubt that they're gonna go ahead and remove them just like that but that is the re biggest reason guys why these car games are literally removing these cars off the game it's not because they're trying to make you mad and it's because they are gonna get in trouble if they don't and then the game will be gone forever which we don't want happening also guys i'm not sure but there's this glitch on driving empire that i keep trying to go through these checkpoints but i keep saying i'm, I'm missing a checkpoint let me know in the comments down below if this is the same exact thing happening to you guys because I'm literally going through the checkpoints right in the middle but it keeps saying that I'm missing them. See, I don't know what I just missed. It said I missed one right now. So yeah guys, BMW and Rolls Royce are now gone from Driving Empire and this could mean the same exact thing on other games guys. Look at this, it's doing it again. Turn around, miss checkpoints. No, I didn't miss anything my boy. So you guys know other big games like Car Dealership Tycoon, Vehicle Legends, and even Greenville, they're gonna have to remove these cars sooner or later, which absolutely sucks. Now, that doesn't mean that it's totally gone forever guys, but we're never gonna get the same BMW models ever again. They're gonna look like the brand new Hellcats and Trackhawks in this game, guys. It's not gonna look the same anymore. 
but it's gonna look very very similar which is absolutely unfortunate because you guys know that we just got bmw motorcycles and car dealership tycoon so i don't know what's gonna happen there <laughs> so with these other cars in the game right now guys you can see that we are still you know we have a great collection right over here and that's because they are literally replacing every single car that they remove but there are still a lot of car manufacturers in here that have not gotten a copyright strike yet like the Koenigseggs and the McLarens guys they did before but now they are back in the game I'm guessing they got cleared you guys can see that we might be you know getting the uh, Porsches removed in the game because it seems like that they are putting new models in here you guys can see that we did get the brand new off-brand Porsche earlier guys so it's a big possibility that that might be disappearing as well but before it does you know we have nothing but enjoying these cars right now we can literally wish all we want for these cars not to be removed guys trust me I had a BMW M4 and I am so sad that they find, you know, they took it off the game and it's not here anymore. So there, I'm sure there's going to be a solution in the future, guys, with these manufacturers. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more, you know, advertiser friendly. So the cars might come back later in the game. But as of right now, they are gone forever. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys haven't. And don't forget to click that post notification bell as well. I'm also going to be giving a real life giveaway pretty soon guys so be uh sure to stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you guys in the next video and peace out